What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. Super excited to introduce to you the Aostra Motor S07B electric bike today. As you can see, I've already got it assembled in front of me. It comes 90% pre-assembled in the box already, all parts carefully packaged and protected. In the box, you get the e-bike, battery charger, toolkit, and user manual. If you're in the market for an electric bike, you already know prices can go from 500 bucks all the way up to $8,000. Pretty exorbitant prices out there. So why buy an electric bike anyway? With an e-bike, you get to combine the benefits of a traditional bicycle with the added benefits of easily climbing hills or fighting the wind. Those can make cycling quite a drag. <laughs> if you have joint pain or asthma, an e-bike can allow you to experience the joy of cycling without being in pain. Get you back out there enjoying nature, either in solitude or with friends and family. The Aostra Motor S07B is an awesome model on more of the budget end of the spectrum yet still delivering many of the great perks that the expensive bikes deliver. Let's get into it. Okay, from the outside working in, the S07B uses a strong and lightweight aluminum alloy frame suitable for users of height 5'4", up to 6'5", and up to about 300 pounds. It's equipped with a front light, a rear reflector, front and rear disc brakes, Shimano Outer 7 speed derailleur. You get a switch for a shock absorber, all right? Suitable for more complex terrain, keeping you comfy no matter where you are, very good. Let's talk motor and battery. Aoster Motor gives you a 750 watt, high speed brushless motor and removable lithium battery right here. Strong, strong driving force, long endurance. This battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery. Can you guess what speed you can achieve with this motor and battery combo? Many e-bikes out there can't top 20 miles per hour. So the fact that this one can do 20 miles per hour is pretty good. Just kidding. You get a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Charge the battery in four to six hours and you're gonna get 30 to 43 miles of distance out of just one charge. The variance will depend of course on the amount of hills and your speed. But this is more than enough power for a regular daily commute, grocery run, or just enjoying a quick frolic around nature. And also, that's only if you're using e-bike mode, all right? You get three modes, e-bike, pedal-assisted, and normal pedaled mode. You can obviously use it as a regular bike, so you can get far more distance out of the bike if you were going to conserve a little bit of power along the way, right? Maybe pedal yourself along level terrain and then use the e-bike mode just to climb hills. All right, one charge will last you a super long time that way. All right, so quick recap so far. Aluminum alloy frame, suitable for users 5'4 to 6'5, less than 300 pounds. Charge the removable battery in four to six hours. Get 30 to 43 miles out of one charge, speeds up to 25 miles per hour, and three working modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. Let's check out these fat tires. All right, this is pretty insane. 26 by four inch fat tires, giving you incredible traction. You'll have absolutely no problem cruising over beach, snow, gravel, rain, dirt, sand, even ice, all right? Suitable for all terrain. I don't care if you're in Alaska, Death Valley, Machu Picchu, riding in the snow or on a beach, your journey is only limited by your imagination. And it is not limited by these tires. Moving over to the display, you've got an SW LCD display. They even give you a USB port under the meter to charge your phone while you're traveling. Imagine that. If you've got headphones or a Bluetooth headset on, you're riding along, streaming music, listening to an audiobook, or even on a conference call on the way to work, arrive at your destination, phone still fully charged. It's, it's those little things in life, right? So nice. And that's pretty much everything I can impart about this bicycle without you riding it yourself. It's definitely a great long-term investment. Riding an e-bike can save a lot on transportation costs. It's good for the environment. It's great for your body, for your mental health. You can use the bike traditionally without power for a full workout or use e-bike mode and pedal assist to get up those tough hills, work through strong winds, or if you struggle with joint pain or asthma. 
This could be a great gift for anyone who fits that description as well. Pro tip, when assembling, first attach the handlebars, flip the bike over, and install the tire, all right? That'll make the process very easy. You'll also want to loosen the bolts near the discs uh, at the tires before attaching them. All right, so, uh, so yeah, Aosta Motor has thought of a lot here. They give you a strong, durable frame, amazing tires built for any terrain and weather conditions. You've got the lights, the brakes, the LCD with phone charging port. Really all that's left is just to get out there and have fun. Let us know what you think about this bike in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. The Aoster Motor S07B electric bike. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. Everyone needs a good webcam these days. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Video conferencing from home, video calling friends from afar, and the built-in laptop cameras just don't cut it, even on MacBook Pros. Built-in webcams might only be 720p. It's gonna be hard to make a good impression on a bad camera where you're looking all fuzzy compared to everyone else. You need to upgrade, especially if you're using Zoom for work, Twitch for gaming, recording for YouTube, etc. I've got an awesome webcam for you right here, the Full HD Tro Pro 1080p webcam. Let's open the box. Okay, this is everything you get. An instruction manual. Nice and thin instruction manual. That's how you know it's easy to use. All right, a mini tripod. That's a great touch, a mini tripod. And of course, the Tro Pro 1080p webcam itself. All right, this is a 30 FPS webcam. This one gives you wide angle capability up to 110 degrees. That's what I call a wide shot, baby. Let me show you, there's this privacy cover. All right, so they do include a privacy cover. That is very, very good. Uh, this webcam has facial enhancement technology to automatically optimize your image. It boasts a built-in stereo and noise canceling microphone, eliminating unwanted noise, capturing sound within about five meters or 15 feet. That's a great range, all right? This is perfect for a conferencing experience or streaming to your many, many fans. It's super easy to set up. No drivers, no downloads. Just use this versatile clip to easily secure it onto any laptop screen or TV or monitor. Notice there's also a thin layer of soft padding on the clip here. That's gonna keep your devices from getting scratched. Very, very good. You can also mount it on your desk with the mini tripod that's included. So if you're working with a desktop computer or if you don't want something attached to your laptop screen, Tro Pro has you covered. And just another comment, I did mention that privacy cover. Okay, that's obviously for when you're not using the webcam. <laughs> they can't see you when it's like this. Uh, but you know, to, for extra security and extra safety, when you don't have a video camera streaming application engaged, you can use the privacy cover just for that extra protection. Okay, right now I'm going to plug in with the USB cord and we are going to take a look. All right, so I have plugged it in. Let's take a look. Hello. <laughs> this was so easy. All I did was plug in the USB, no drivers, no downloads. Let's take a look over here. Whoops, I'm doing too many things, here we go. <laughs> okay, hello, there we are. It is just that easy, no drivers, no downloads. All right, just plug it in and you're good to go. It's compatible with Windows 10, 8, 8.1, 7, XP, Linux. It's, it's good for Skype, streaming, teleconference, and video chat. All right, they give you so many options in such a tiny package at such an affordable price. Oh, what's going on with these companies? It's like a total giveaway. We need good webcams these days. All right. We need high definition 1080p. We need it to be easy to use. Also, you've got that privacy screen. So if you don't have the camera application booted up, bam, no one can see what's going on. All right. So get yourself a true, safe, full HD 1080p webcam, okay? We need to better prepare ourselves for the quickly evolving digital world. Help yourself 
create those income streams, working from home on YouTube, Twitch, video conferencing, etc. Higher quality video, higher quality sound will get you there. This webcam is truly great. My dear eggheads, the Troll Pro 1080p Full HD webcam. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hey everyone, it's Kenan, your trusted tech nerd for all things value packed. Now, I don't know if you have any plans in the near future to make a DIY desktop computer, but if you're going to do that, you must know that a suitable power supply is very important. And I don't know when it started, but it seems like high power power supplies right now are all the rage. I don't know if it's because CPUs and graphics cards are just so expensive that no one cares about how much money they dish out for power supplies, am I right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But clearly, using a high power power supply does have its benefits. Number one, it can make your expensive CPU and graphics card last much longer. Number two, it can decrease the amount of electricity you use, making you more energy efficient. And three, the other functions can bring you more convenience and stability while using it. I have here the Segotep Xingu GP Series 750 watt gold power supply. Xingu is a desktop power supply company that has been around for a long time, longer than me, and I'm pretty old. They were founded in 1986 and have a worldwide reputation for power supplies, chassis, and radiators. Now I said before, that a good power supply can make your CPU and your graphics card last much longer. This is marked with 750 watts. But how much power do we really need? I ran some tests. Okay, when browsing the web and replying to emails, a computer needs only about 60 to 100 watts. I have here that if you are going to play games or make videos, you need about 120 to 350 watts. Now we might get a little technical here, but when a power supply is at 50% load, okay, 50% load, that means that we are at peak efficiency. That means that internal temperature and stability are at peak performance. So if you're using a full set of high-end capabilities, you know, you're playing high-res games, you're editing films, you're live streaming or whatever, choosing a 750 watt power supply is not only appropriate, but it's essential for the long-term health of your computer. Remember, a 750 watt power supply means that it can provide up to 750 watts of power, but it doesn't mean that the power consumption will remain at 750 watts. The actual power consumption depends on the motherboard, the CPU, the graphics card, etc., how they're all being used, and the power supply will only provide the amount of required power. Two, remember I said that we can decrease the electricity expense. As I said before, when a power supply is at 50% load, we are at peak efficiency. What this means is that our power conversion rate is at its strongest, at its highest. So what does that mean? That means to output a certain X amount of power. The amount of power input required is the least. If you're still on the fence for some reason, I'll have you know that this power supply has passed the 80 plus gold certification. I haven't heard of that certification. Let me explain. 80 plus is recognized as one of the most stringent power saving codes in the world, which is directly related to your monthly electricity bill. At the beginning, it was divided into four levels, 80 plus, 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, 80 plus gold. Later, two higher levels were added, namely 80 plus platinum and 80 plus titanium. The 80 plus gold standard used by this device refers to the power conversion rate of 87% at 20% load. If it's a 50% load, the conversion efficiency at this time is the highest, which can reach 90%. And if it's 100% full-time, full load operation, the conversion rate can still maintain more than 87%. This means that your entire setup is more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Then you may be wondering, what are the conversion rates of the other levels? You know, is, is gold actually good or should I need, do I need something better? Let me answer you. The most basic 80 plus standard, no matter the workload, the conversion rate can reach 80%, okay? The most basic 80%. Remember, 80 plus gold is 87 to 90%, depending on the load. 
Now, titanium standard has between 90 and 94% conversion, depending on load. Please refer to the picture for detailed comparison. As you can see, the gold metal is in the middle position. Maybe you've seen this when shopping for power supplies before. Products with reasonable prices and guaranteed quality are all basically 80 plus gold certified. You know, I don't want you to waste your money, okay? Spending tons of extra dollars for titanium standard just to get maybe up to 4% higher conversion, I don't think it's such great bang for your buck. I think we should just stick with the 80 plus gold. For high power power supplies, manufacturers typically add many small functions that make it more useful. There are so many here that I'm gonna use my list to help us out. You've got OVP, that's over voltage protection. OCP, over current protection. OPP, over power protection. OLP, over load protection. UVP, under voltage protection. OTP, over temperature protection. SCP, short circuit protection. These features can automatically shut down your computer if the current or the temperature gets too high. Your computer will not fall to the hands of tiny mechanical failures. This power supply is also an APFC power supply. That is an active power factor correction power supply. What does that mean? This power supply not only saves power, but it also has wider voltage adaptability. So it works very stably under wide voltage fluctuations. All right, let's look inside the box. Now here we have a full module power supply, which means, whoa, nice, that we can select the cables we need individually. That makes it easier to organize within the chassis. What do I see here? Ah, the fan, the 140 millimeter super quiet fan. You will enjoy serene silence with this baby. But back to the cables. Ah, look at all these options. We have the 24 pin connector for the motherboard. We've got the connector for the SATA drive, the CD drive, and provided all these cables. Okay, check this out. We've got our motherboard cables, our SATA cables, our drive cables, whatever you need to connect inside your computer, it's all right here. Oh, here's an ancient fossil in the IT world. The famed 3.5 floppy disk. Yes, I know what this is, which means I need to go to a retirement home. You don't need to know what this is, probably, <laughs> okay? Finally, I have to mention that compared to the power supplies of four or five or even many more years ago, they have added a very convenient switch on the external part, okay? So now we can manually cut off power or turn power on without having to unplug a cord. Really convenient. All right, let's review. It has 80 plus gold certification. It is environmentally friendly. It saves power. It has plus APFC active PFC design. It's got OVP, UVP, OPP, SCP, OCP, OTP, multiple protection measures. It comes with a five-year warranty. These features can let you use it with confidence. It's also got full modular design, an additional switch button, and a 140 millimeter ultra quiet fan. You can hardly hear any movement while this is working in standby. That's pretty awesome. This is a very valuable high-end product. 750 watts of power can be applied to almost all configurations. So whether you're browsing the web, working or playing games, making movies, you will not be disappointed. The standard for what makes a good power supply hasn't changed for many years. Invest well once and be pleased for years to come. In fact, I bet you can pass this on to your grandkids. Just kidding, you probably don't wanna do that. But anyway, that's it for today. I really hope this product brings you a lot of value Thank you, and see you next time. Hey, back heads, Kenan here with Newegg now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. As you can see, I've got a gaming desk here in front of me. If you want to improve your gaming desk without having to rob a bank first, stick around for just a few minutes. This is the Home All 55-inch gaming desk. It comes with a very simple nine-step assembly instruction pamphlet. After assembly, what you see is what you get a spacious 55 inch long and 26 inch wide surface. It's stable, check this out. It's got T-shaped solid steel frame legs. That gives the desk really, really strong support. Homal hooks you up with four adjustable leg pads. That means you can keep your surface horizontal even on uneven ground. No wobbles, ah, I love that. I hate wobbly, shaky tables. I'm sure you do too. You'll notice the desk is 
fully covered with a mouse pad. This entire thing is a mouse pad, a waterproof mouse pad to be specific. Spill your drinks without regret. This full-size mouse pad, of course, not only makes all of your work and gaming really efficient, but also protects the desk underneath. Not that it really needs it too much though. The desk is made of high quality steel and premium carbon fiberboard, so it won't easily rust or scratch. All of this means it's going to retain its quality over time, might even protect its resale value. If you ever have to sell it secondhand to move or upgrade again later, it'll stay in really, really good condition. This means you're protecting your money when you buy this. Always wanna think about stuff like that. Home All equips you with a cup holder here, a headphone hook over here, gaming controller rack, cable grommets, cable organizer, all of which of course allow you to avoid clutter, maximize convenience. It's all gonna translate to better work and better gameplay. The desktop space is already really large, but with all of this added convenience, everything being so organized and within easy reach, you'll just have tons of space for your hands. Your entire experience will be enhanced. And that's basically it, eggheads. The Home All 55 inch gaming desk. Truly an elegant, simple solution for any gamer or any, anyone working at a home office. Anyone who wants a large, convenient workspace without paying a large sum of money. Let us know what you think of this gaming desk in the comments or reviews. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. So I bet you spend a lot of time sitting in front of your PC at home or at work. What are you sitting on? Are you comfortable? If not, maybe it's time for a change. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. And today we're taking a look at the Homo Gaming Chair. Here's some quick history about the origins of the term gaming chair. You've probably heard this a lot. Once upon a time, about 15 years ago, a company called DX Racer was designing car seats. These were seats specifically for expensive sports cars. Then they came up with the idea to make these very stylized seats into computer chairs you might use at your desk. These were ergonomically ideal for people who spent a long time sitting down, like gamers. Now gaming chair is just a catch-all label for chairs that look like this one. Obviously, you don't need to be a gamer to benefit from having one. Anyone who spends a lot of time sitting down is going to want a comfortable chair to support their back, and this one is very comfortable. So that's thanks to its ergonomic design, and with a wide seat, a high back with wings, a lumbar pillow for the head, lumbar pillow down here for the body, the chair can be personalized to your individual comfort needs. Okay, so now let's have a look at how you can personalize this chair to really suit your comfort needs. And all of those adjustments can be made on the right hand side. So I'll just turn around here so you can have a look at, there are three handles here that are going to make those adjustments. First of all, this handle down here, by pulling that up, you're going to be able to adjust the height of the chair. Pretty basic stuff. Now this is a good feature here on the side. If I pull this handle back, I can actually adjust the tilt of the chair all the way back down to 180 degrees or bring it back up to a supportive 90 degree tilt. Now down here, if you like to rock back and forth in your chair, you can actually pull this out to unlock it just to give you the ability to rock in the chair back and forth a little bit and snap it back into place if you want the chair to remain static. So those are some of the adjustments you can make. Now let's get into the materials. The smooth PU leather behind me and the high density shaping foam, they play a huge part in the chair's overall comfort. It's 1.8 millimeter thick steel frame, make it sturdy and stable to sit on. I can really feel that here. Now, as we get lower to the ground, it's 360 degree swivel and multi-direction wheels allow it to roll along smoothly with minimum degree of noise. The base is sturdy and it feels sturdy beneath me right now. It has a class three gas lift verified by SGS. That means it has high durability. Now, if you're on the bigger side of humans or you just have a lot of cats who like to sit on your lap, the chair can easily seat 300 pounds of weight. Now, if you want to sit back on something better, treat your skeleton to the Homo gaming chair. For more on this product and other chairs, keyboards, fans, cases, gaming gadgets, and a whole lot more, head on over to newegg.com. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver, enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. So if you're a gamer or otherwise push your CPU to work hard, you might need a little extra from your CPU cooler. CPU coolers dissipate the heat from your processor and keep things running nicely. Welcome back to Newegg Now. I'm James, and today we're talking about the Vetru 
V5 CPU cooler. Now this comes with AMD brackets and Intel brackets. I'll show you what comes right out of the box here. It also comes with an Intel back plate and of course thermal paste. Now in the product description it says that this is designed to look good inside a gaming PC case and I wouldn't argue with that. I like the white frame, I like the white fan blades, they give it a nice clean look and of course they reflect the RGB colors nicely as well. Unlike some ARGB fans, this is not an LED ring as you can see. It's not an LED ring light around the fan itself. The LED is actually built into the fan and that gives the light a more subtle feeling. I quite like the look of this. Note that this CPU cooler does not ship with an RF wireless RGB remote like the one I have in my hand here, but it will respond to one. So if you already have some RGB fans in your home setup with a remote controller like this one, it will fit in nicely and function on the same frequency. So let's play around a little bit with the ARGB light setup. As with other ARGB fans, you're going to have a lot of different options. I'm going to just make adjustments using this RF wireless remote control. So if I click into the auto function here, I'm going to just cycle through a few of the different modes. And you'll see once again that the, the light is nice and subtle in this. The light is actually coming out of the stem of the fan itself rather than using an ARGB LED lighting ring. So here are some different ARGB light modes. You can also select static modes. We can adjust the brightness. I'm going to bring the brightness down to its lowest setting and then bring it right back up. Like other Vetru ARGB fans, you will have five brightness modes and there are also many different modes in terms of both static and moving lights. Specs wise, it's a very capable 120 millimeter ARGB fan with PWM function, which can automatically adjust fan speeds according to the CPU temperature for efficient cooling and minimized fan noise. It allows for dynamic speed adjustment from 800 RPM to 1700 RPM with double-sided silicon shock absorbing pads even with the fan running at full power, the maximum noise level should only reach about 30.8 dBA with airflow within 25 to 52 CFM. The Vetru cooler's copper base is adopted to fit the CPU nicely. Let's see if I can give you a look at that. There's the copper base, if you can see it, underneath this sticker for its protection. Now, what's good about this is it has a good sized contact area and that allows for better thermal conductivity. There are five six millimeter pure copper heat pipes there with 48 pieces of 0.4 millimeter industrial grade pure aluminum heat sinks, which provide fast heat transfer. If you have a look at that and maintain good operation of the CPU itself. If you'd like to shop for the Vetru V5 CPU cooler, head down to the links below in the description. We've got a lot of other cool tech and gadgets to light up your tower, your keyboard, your mouse, or desktop. Check out some of the new gaming gear we have at Newegg.com. I'm James Oliver. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, thanks for watching. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one.